Hey guys, Frank here, your virtual general aviation aviator, and today I am in the the SR22 again, but this time I want to compare it against the Torx um, SR22 that was developed for X Plane 11. Now I believe Torx um, is working on releasing an X Plane 12 variant, but uh, in the meantime. Let's just do a quick comparison of these two aircraft. Now, this one is the Laminar Default Aircraft. So, I am going to take it from, well, I'm at uh, Greenville Spartanburg, South Carolina, and we're going to take it to Spartanburg for a quick touch and go, and then back to Greenville Spartanburg. All right, so um, so yeah, that's the plan. All right, so uh, the two air the two aircraft start so differently that I am gonna skip the startup in the two airplanes and uh, we'll go straight to um, takeoff. Okay, so I'm at runway two two and. We are ready to hit the road, let's see. So let's go ahead and turn out. Strobes on, landing lights on, pedo heat come on, and yeah, so I think we are good to go. Um, our terminal is set to keep things correct, and we're using standard air and temperature on both sims, 57 degrees Fahrenheit, our terminal 2992. Um, so yeah, um, both aircraft use differential braking. So, so for those of you who are using rudder pedals, then it doesn't do any good to push forward on the rudder pedal to um, to steer. You just have to use those tool brakes. All right, so let's get back here. And one thing I got that I must say about the default version is that the the barometer is tied to the backup system. So if I change the barometer he, here on the primary system, I'm also changing it on the backup system, which is concerning because uh, if the primary system go out, then so would the backup system. It would seem to me, but. Uh, maybe there's something that I don't know. Uh, maybe Laminar Research just took a shortcut on the backup system. Uh, if you know the answer to that, then leave it in the comments. All right, let's get up in the air. All right, so let's uh, put in some flaps. Okay, flaps take off as indicated. Strokes and landing lights are on. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, guys. Got to show you this. Um, so, Laminar did model the engine, in the engine uh, information systems page. And so, I can, you know, on trips, I can lean it properly. Um, so, here, I've got um, my power my RPM, my manifold pressure, my fuel flow, and my ore temperature and pressure gauges. Uh, I've got my EGT and my, my cylinder head temp and my EGT, my exhaust gas temps uh, monitor, monitor. I got my anti-ice um, monitor and my oxygen levels. Um, yeah, so I see it shows me what um, what some of my my outside air temp well what what my air data is um, fuel tank capacity and so forth and so on so uh, so yeah I can now for a sim being able to increase fuel and decrease fuel I think that only works on the fuel gauges and not physically for the fuel, but um, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so, so yeah, we'll 
we'll do this. One more thing I want to do before I take off is I know that Spottenburg is only about five miles away and it's roughly um, it's roughly due east. So I'm gonna grab my head and bug and this is um, this is the bug here and I'm gonna move it around to roughly about uh, about east. And, um, and yeah, so what we'll do is we'll climb out to a thousand feet and then we'll, then we'll turn, we'll start that turn to the east and we will fly at 1500 feet until we get to the airport and then we'll do a touch and go um, on Windsor Calm. So we'll choose a, a runway and then we'll fly back. We'll do the same thing, uh, fly, fly back for a full landing. And then we'll do the same thing in Torxam, in the Torxam SR-22. All right, so let's make this happen. All right, so here we go again. Uh, mixture is four. Max power is set. Rotate at 60. 60 knots, rotate. Clap a thousand feet, which will be okay, uh, I think that was 1140, was a thousand feet. Uh, but we are going to climb up to 1500 feet. some of that back pressure. Pull that power back a little bit. And take out some of that back pressure. So the airport was that yeah this that have trim wheels so we're gonna need to trim with the um, but it's on the uh, side stick. A couple hundred feet too high. Black on black, which depends on the light, can really be hard to see. And I'm looking out the window, and it'll be a far flight. I'm focused on that map, trying to find that airport. So traffic deals showing. And this, look back at my chart. It goes long. Okay, it's 13 nautical miles uh, between the airports. And you guys see it? Uh, let's see. It's not it, but I can see it on the, on the map deal. First time flying to it. And I travel a bit. Did 
that be it. Yep, that is it. Alright, so let's go come in. Let's see. Let's go straight in. Alright, so we land right here. Um, come in this way. Um, so I touch the this. Alright, so put the power back. Bounce. Again, this one is the default SS, uh, SR22. Alright, so no here, gas lights, it's already on. I'm in the hot hill. Nice round out of flare though. Absolutely. Absolutely. Rotate. And we're going to head back to Greenfield Spot Bird. I intend to get back up to Santa Rosa. And lo and behold, guys, I have been holding out. I have been holding out. I'm hoping to get the Charlie. Ruddles. I'm actually trying to get back down to 15. I've been holding out, trying to get, I'm holding out for the Charlie Ruddles, which would fill out my Alpha and Bravo honeycomb system. But we just not hear anything about those Ruddles. Snaps out. So I am having a tough time getting down. Right, so, you know, flying back to the west. Uh, so, I'll be able to find it in a few Actually, I probably would do better in 2000 than I would in 1500. So, I'm going to pull it back on the on this mixture. Just a tad. I'm going to trim it. I'll let it stick, man. I know it's just a problem. I'm on one hand. I'm gonna climb, so back down with you again. Okay, so I'm gonna get them on right now. Okay. Don't match my power a little bit. Just climb. So I'm like headed towards the center of the runway. And that's um I said I'm gonna do the radio call since it's more just about flying into the air rails, just apparently. Um, so shit, we just about able to see this airport. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing out this way, come in on the 45, 404. Low, but um, I'm, on, I'm just joined the downwind and should be making a base turn, and it's uh, pretty much uh, pretty soon. Okay, I'm a beam, so let's configure. Put that power out. Stop range. Yeah. Turn base. And bring it on around the final.
definitely low. But according to our pappy, my daddy, my pappy, I'm right on the glide slope. your pappy. Uh, watch your pappy and do what it says. Alright, got my lights on. And snaps. Take out more power. Round out. All right, so guys, let's do the same thing with the with the torque sound version. First, let's just get off the runway. Should be a turn off up here. Again, the, the differential steering. She sounds good. That's one thing that X Plane did do is they did really good sounds. Um, of course, they got an expert, an L Mod expert that's um, that's been instrumental in working with the sounds quiet in the period. Enough of that. So this is the torque sound version of the SR22. And if you hear a little break in the sound, uh, a little stuttering in the sound, then it's me and not the aircraft. But anyway, this is the way it sounds from the outside. I think it sounds pretty good. that to what you just heard. I listen to them. It sounds good from this perspective. So yeah, I, I think the sounds are fantastic. All right, let's get in the cockpit. All right, so we're in the cockpit. Uh, she is running, as you can see, and this is a glass cockpit, but it's not the Garmin that we just looked at. This is the, uh, the Integra uh, Avidon uh, cockpit. So a few things are a little different. Um, still got a head, but set to the east. Uh, this is not meant to be a primer on using the Avidon, so I won't go there. But I will show you that it's got, for the most part, the same information that we just looked at. RPMs, manifold pressure, power, or temp, and or pressure, um, EGT, and um, cylinder head temp, CHT. Um, it does have a lean assist button so that we can actually find out, uh, go through, have it help us find the right lean. Um, the right settings for the proper mixture and uh, electrical uh, fuel flow um, and again uh, air data density altitude and 
temperature. All right. So, so yeah, our outside air temperature is 58, uh, pretty much standard, uh, 2992. All right. And the Garmin is an, is an add-on. Um, normally, this would be a G530 and a G430 here. Um, but uh, I do have the, the, the real sim gear um, add-on for the, G, the GTN 750. All right, so that's probably what we're going to use. Um, for our map, of course, I do have a map here that I can also use. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, we um, I actually probably use the um, the Avidine map. All right. So let's uh, drop some flaps in and let's make this happen. Now the flaps go to 50% and I'm not sure, well anyway, um, yeah they're measured from 0, 50 and 100% so, so it's, that's not degrees. Alright, so make sure you go for rich. Our brakes. Let's release our brakes. Brakes up here. Alright, do this again. Of course, in real life, I would not know that. So he must be 
one found for SDA. Um, here's an SDA right here. Uh, so we're command number two behind him. Wow, so they got flaps in. I do. Gonna start off with 100% flaps on. Oh, yeah, well, I, my bad. I remember some trouble I didn't drop flaps in them. So they got a flap range and put in those flaps. I did not.
I've got about a few on. Just my whole ground was just a thing. This too has, um, let's see if we can make this for the same turn off. This too has differential braking. So, we're gonna turn with our feet. Um, with our toe brakes, that is. turning tendency then when I give it power to get it moving and that prop start biting into the into the air it really want to turn it left and then with the wash going going back and hitting that tail fin then yeah so hey it is what it is right all right so this guys is the torque sum and let's go ahead and take all these flaps out. So yeah, what do you think? Uh, leave a comment, let me know which one you think is better or just your opinion. Now, one caveat, 
there is another SR-22 that's completely free for X-Plane 11, and that one's by Hold My Beer. Um, that one is on par with the Torxim SR-22. It runs the Gorman G-1000. However, uh, one thing that um, I can say about it is it the cockpit was black on black and it was it's really hard to see and if you don't have a really good computer then it can be a frame killer but this video is not about that particular plane i just thought I, it served an honorable mention and did i mention that it was free <laughs> i hope so anyway guys until next time you all come back now dude.